Hey, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting update from the world of K-pop stocks. But before we dive into the details, please remember that the information shared in this video is for educational purposes only. It should not be considered as financial advice. Always do your own research or consult with a professional before making any investment decisions. Now, let's get started. Shares of South Korea's biggest K-pop agencies are experiencing a remarkable rally with significant gains in the stock market. Let's explore what's driving this surge and how it's catching the attention of investors. This year, the shares of Hybe Company, SM Entertainment Company, YG Entertainment Incorporated, and JYP Entertainment Corporation, the nation's top K-pop agencies, have skyrocketed by at least 30%. Surprisingly, this growth is double the increase seen in the benchmark Kospi index. Overseas funds are showing keen interest in these stocks as they outperform global recording labels like Universal Music Group NV and Warner Music Group Corp. The phenomenal success of K-pop groups like BTS and Blackpink has captured the imagination of equity investors in search of promising opportunities. Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated and other brokerages recently upgraded their price targets for K-pop stocks, making them some of the most popular investment choices alongside electric vehicle battery-related stocks. Jang Wan Lee, the creator of an exchange-traded fund tracking local entertainment shares, explains, there are half a dozen new artists and groups popping up in the music market every week. It's well on its way to becoming something that will last longer. That's why we are seeing spikes in K-pop and Korean entertainment stocks. Among the major K-pop agencies, YG Entertainment has seen an astounding surge of over 100% this year, reaching an all-time high. JYP Entertainment has jumped 88%, while SM Entertainment has climbed 33%. Goldman Sachs raised its price target for JYP, maintaining its buy call and setting a new target of $130,000, up from $97,001 in May. Local brokerages also upgraded HYBE, YG, and SM following their first quarter earnings reports. Additionally, Netflix's commitment to investing $2.5 billion in Korean content over the next four years has further boosted confidence in the industry. Sanford C. Bernstein Limited, listing HYBE as its top pick, is optimistic about the company's advanced business structure. They have set a target price that implies a 31% gain from the current level. Despite concerns about the outlook after BTS took a career break and the failed bid to acquire rival SM, HYBE shares have rallied over 50% this year. The K-pop frenzy isn't limited to South Korea alone. While global funds have sold a net $1.2 billion of shares listed on Kostak, they have purchased $477 million worth of three K-pop stocks. Kospi listed high alone has attracted a net inflow of $245 million, propelling the benchmark gauge close to a bull market. However, we must note that amidst all the excitement, there have been some signs of stress. Hyde shares experienced a significant drop of 5.1% recently, while SM Entertainment recovered slightly from its largest two-month drop. These losses were triggered by an announcement that members of one of the popular bands had sought to end their exclusive contracts. Furthermore, the recent rally has led to higher valuations. Hyde now trades at a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 45, nearly double what it was in mid-October. JYP is trading at almost 33 times, which is more than one-third higher, compared to the same period. In contrast, Universal Music stock is trading near a seven-month low. Despite these challenges, die-hard K-pop fans remain undeterred. The resumption of live concerts and China's increasing openness to foreign entertainment are expected to drive further growth. With the world's second-largest economy moving past its pandemic era, K-pop fans will have the opportunity to travel, meet their idols, and purchase more albums. Analyst Lee Wayoung from NH Investment and Securities Company predicts that the K-pop sector will continue its solid growth trajectory with a compound annual growth rate of 12% from 2022 to 2028. This will be fueled by a stronger presence in the global market and the monetization efforts of K-pop producers. 
If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the incredible rise of K-pop stocks. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update on the latest trends and investment opportunities.